Hello everybody, Nathan here again. Uh, today we are going to be playing Split Mind, um, which is a horror game about, as you can see here, uh, schizophrenia and psychosis. Uh, after our last experience trying to play a horror game, you might be wondering, Nathan, what the hell are you thinking? You played 15 minutes of the last one, and, you know, you had to quit, just high and dry, stop right in the middle of the game. And I would say you're right, this is a terrible idea and we are not going to get anywhere, but I'm still going to give it a shot in the spirit of trying out all of these indie games. Well, that's a nice disclaimer, at least. Trying to look out for people. Okay. Open blinds, brush teeth, make coffee, work on an assignment. Oh, cool. It was one of those little, like, projector screen type blinds. Which, I have to say, those still blow my mind. Uh... And it's one of those things where I don't even know if it's a very commonplace thing. It's just I, I work at an apartment community. And it's something that we have very recently set up where it's like blinds where you open like pulling down or pushing up on a projector screen to display it. And I cannot tell you how many times we have had residents give our office a call letting us know hey our blinds don't have the cord to open or close them with and uh we had to explain no no that's that's how they're designed that's how it works brush my teeth hello that's cute Why is my heart beating? Hello. How's it going? Not so good. I could be better. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. It's fine. Well, you need to hear this. The funniest thing happened to me yesterday. So I was going to the... But then it turned out to be here the whole time. Isn't that weird? What? I spaced out. I'm sorry, what were you saying? I think I spaced out. Never mind, it's not important. Are you still working on your project? Yeah, it's going well. I was actually just about to start working. That's good to hear. I won't disturb you then. Goodbye. See you. Oh, that's weird. Oh, I thought I was actually typing stuff for a second. Hello. Hello. Do you want to join our cause of saving the plastic bins around the city? Sure, why not? Fantastic! We'll send you a sign-up form in the mail. Sounds great. Goodbye. Goodbye. Do not like that. Uh, 
There wasn't always a door there, was there? This was definitely not there. Oh, I hate it. Oh, I hate it. Oh, I do... No. This heartbeat can stop. I'm starting to not do good. Fascinating. Wake up at nine. Breathing exercise. Check. Open the blinds. Like a little. Who's that? Hello! How are you? <laughs> there was a hand, and you can't convince me that there wasn't. We're good. We're good. I'm okay. It's all good. It's all good. Oh, I fucking hate this. I fucking hate this. God. Stop with the heartbeats. Just, just don't. Hello? Silence. Is anyone there? Guess not. We are coming for- What? Who is this? Stop scaring me, this isn't funny. Zoom. What are you talking about? This isn't funny, tell me who you are. Oh god, no, 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 no. Fuck this, fuck this, fuck this, fuck this. This is bullshit, and I hate it. That's a cute little goose painting. <gasps> is that... Is that a visual bug, or are those hands? Okay, yeah, that's definitely hands. I know I'm not saying a whole lot right now. I'm just having a hard time taking all of this in. I am so fucking disgustingly sweaty right now. It's it's not funny. Like I I don't know. I don't know if it'll show well on the camera, but I am I am I am slick. I am wet. And it is gross. I'm like an eel. Not the best cup, but it's fine. Hi, honey, how are you doing? Not so good. I think someone's out to get me. What do you mean? Someone called and said they were coming for me, and then there was knocking on my door, but no one was there. It was probably just a prank call. Maybe, but who knocked on the door then? I feel like I'm being watched. It's 
probably just in your head because you're a bit stressed. You have been a bit distant lately. I just feel like there might be something wrong with me. Oh, get over yourself. There's nothing wrong with you. Why do I feel... Oh, I... Well, you know what? I'll, I'll keep my opinions to myself until the end. Why do I feel down and lonely all the time then? Well, can't you just try to be happier? Just try to smile more. You're stressed about your assignment. When's the last time you've seen any of your friends? A while, I guess. Well, maybe you should get out a bit instead of being cooped up in your apartment all the time then. You used to love hanging out with your friends. Hmm. Well, I have to go. I'll talk to you soon. Sure. Bye, Mom. Christ Almighty. No. No. This heartbeat is like panic inducing to hear. Oh my god. They're watching me. I must find all their hidden cameras. there's any hidden cameras, which might be the point. I don't want to see. <laughs> don't like that. Oh, and it blue screened. Yay. I should get some work done. Oh, hello. Oh, God. I get it. It's all symbolic and metaphorical. It's my descent into madness or schizophrenia or whatever it might be but I, I i i get it i see what they're i see what no 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 hate it oh god this is actually a little bit disorienting i don't like this oh my god Good God. Good God. Hi, it's Mom. How are you feeling today? Fine. Are you sure? You've been impossible to get in contact for days now, and you seem so weird the last time we talked. Are you still feeling down? I said I'm fine. Okay. Remember to take care of yourself. That's not what I said. I said I'm seeing things. Mm. Don't forget to work on your assignment. You're so close to being done. Sure. I feel like you don't have time to talk right now, so I'll leave you be. If there's anything you need to talk about, just call, okay? Sure, I said help me, and I... See, it's all, it's all symbolic. It's all metaphorical. Oh, oh, did I just kill myself? I don't know why that was the first thing I assumed. It's just I grabbed the knife and then it got all weird. This is actually really kind of upsetting to look at.
the time. Coffee, maybe? That'll get you feeling better, bud. Just... Ooh. Feels like it's taken a while. God, I'm so on edge right now, actually. Fine knife, fine knife, fine knife, fine knife. You suck, fine knife. I hate myself, fine knife. You can't do anything, fine knife, fine knife, fine knife, fine. I'm not gonna find the knife. Because finding the knife led to self-harm. And I'm not about that life any longer. Once upon a time in a different life, maybe, but not actively. You know you're not good enough. Why go on? Just end it. No. Let's see what's down there this time. No jump scare. 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 Come on. Is it is it good? Are we having a good day? Maybe we're having a good day, or maybe things are about to spiral and go horribly, horribly wrong. Hi. Hi. How's it going? Been so odd the last couple of times we spoke. It's nothing. I'm better. Don't worry about it. See, I told you just to be more positive. Yeah, great advice. But you know you can talk to me about anything, right? Sure, Mom. Sure. I'm always there to listen. Great. Good. Did you finish your assignment? Did you finish you assignment? Kinda. It not... It not that good, though. Maybe because... Well, well never mind. I'm... <laughs> I think if you're writing a paper of some kind, you're gonna say, it not that good. Might be a correlation there. Good to hear you're better. It's just stress from the assignment, but I'm sorry, I need to go. Talk to you soon? Bye. Oh, I get it. Yep. It's... It's symbolic. Schizophrenia affects up to 1 in 100 people and is a mental state where the individual finds it difficult to tell what's real from what's not. The illness is often very misunderstood, often leading to stigma about individuals suffering from schizophrenia being dangerous and violent, while in reality they are more often the victim. While it's not possible to completely get rid of schizophrenia, many people learn to deal with or live with the illness, and many never experience relapse after treatment. While it might feel hopeless, help is out there, and it's possible to get better and live a full and happy life. Met Nonobe Fredrickson, who has been a huge part of the inspiration and assessment of this game, rarely experiences any symptoms of her illness anymore, has meaningful relationships, and works a full-time job, which she loves. That's very sweet. That's very nice. 
If any of the experiences in this game make you think that you might have a mental health issue, contact your physician immediately for a medical assessment. If you're interested in learning more about schizophrenia, visit checkpointorg.com or sane.org to learn more. I don't know how valid those websites are. Are those real websites? Because I don't know if that's the best advice, just... But I... Well, here, let's... See, it was checkpoint. Let's... All right, so first things first, um, I am sorry if it's a little bit jarring to see the difference in the camera. Uh, the camera I was using crapped out in the middle of recording, so I had to shift and get a different one set up. So the quality in the camera is going to be different. Actually, I kind of like the way that this one is set up a little bit more. Um, so that aside... I ended up taking a look at uh, the websites that were mentioned um, and the credits of the game there. And let's just start with the first one, the uh, checkpointorg.com. And from the looks of things, for starters, real website, uh, completely real, completely legitimate looking page. Um, and it looks like the point of it is to promote mental health awareness in gamers and the gaming community in general which i'm going to just open right off the bat and say i think that that is very cool that the site even exists the fact that you know mental health awareness is always something that i'm very big on um so the fact that you know they're reaching out to people and uh, that was the noise of my cat meowing. I don't know if the microphone picked that up, but the fact that they're, you know, reaching out and trying to provide mental health resources to people, that's, that's really cool. Um, and in addition to that, the fact that, uh, you know, the game promoted the site as well. Um, I'm just all about spreading awareness on these issues. Um, as somebody that was very personally touched by mental health issues for pretty much my entire life, uh, this... This was a cool thing to see. Um, that brings me to the next site in question, which is sane.org. Um, looks to be a similar situation. Mental health awareness, primarily. Um, and it looks like this was a site dedicated for mental health awareness. And it looks like it's Australia. Based. I don't know if the services are useful for anyone outside of the country of Australia. Because um, I'm, I'm, I've just been glancing over the information trying to get an idea of what it's about. In either case, though, uh, both of these things I'm going to put a link to in the description. Um, I know I mentioned this, you know, three, four times already. Mental health awareness is something that I am very, very big on, especially right now in, you know, these trying times. <sighs> 2020 has been a really rough year for a lot of people, for a lot of reasons, but, you know, the most obvious being, of course, you know, everything going on with coronavirus, uh, quarantining, you know, with the holidays coming up, and people not being certain if they're going to be able to spend it with their families even. Being able to get the help that you need, being able to, you know, reach out when, you know, you're not doing well mentally, emotionally, when you're dealing with depression, when you're dealing with anxiety, of course. This game dealing with schizophrenia is a bit of a deeper issue arguably deeper that is not to say that any mental health issue is more or less important than another but the fact remains that this is as good a time as any to remind people you know in in these difficult times it is always okay and always a good idea to reach out when you feel like you need to and because of that i will be leaving a link to both of these sites in the description um, just on the off chance that anybody sees this video and feels the need to reach out. That aside, impressions on the game itself. So, 
I am really glad that when I initially started critiquing the game, I said, you know what, I'm gonna wait until the game's over to share my thoughts. Because I felt like in a lot of cases, uh, it was a little bit on the nose with the way that it handled stuff, and I don't mean that in a good way, necessarily. You know, the way that it handled a lot of issues, for starters, you know, the phone conversations with the mother, when uh, the mother was saying, like, you know, why don't you just try being happy, um, and when the mother was clearly, like, saying, oh, I'm here to help, but simultaneously being really dismissive. Don't get me wrong, that is a very real thing that happens to people. It's, it's damaging when that happens. The portrayal of it was just off, though. The, the whole find knife portion, the portrayal of that was a little bit odd as well. Um, so, so really, like I said, on the nose is probably the best term for it. That being said, I would argue now that I am aware of the intentions of the game, that it's, you know, like a PSA, you know, and it's promoting mental health awareness. I would argue that it is acceptable for it to be blatant in the way that it was. On the other hand, PSA or not, positive message or not, it is an art, or it is a piece of art, rather, uh, so that the, the fact that it had a positive message doesn't immediately make it immune to criticism. So it could be argued as well that, uh, positive message aside, PSA aside, um, the issues that I took with it are still valid and worth mentioning. Then again, on the other hand, uh, I'm just some asshole with a YouTube channel with, what, five subscribers and ten views per video, so who am I to critique anything as a piece of art anyways? Overall, solid game, I, I suppose. I mean, it wasn't particularly scary, which you might be like, oh, Nathan, why were you so goddamn jumpy if the game wasn't scary? And it, 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 it wasn't. It wasn't scary. It was very unnerving. And it was very anxiety-inducing just in the presentation of it. You know, the rapid heartbeat, the seeing stuff out of the corner of your eyes. I, I wasn't positive at first if I was actually seeing stuff or if it was just, you know, a figment of my imagination, trick of the light, graphical glitch. I know I mentioned that as a possibility, you know. Um, so at first when I thought I might have just been psyching myself out, when I thought I might have been seeing things... Um, you know, just the general presentation of it mixed with, you know, the distorted vision, the rapid heartbeat, all that. Anxiety-inducing, like I'd mentioned, that, that's really the best way of putting it. And so in that regard, that was done very well. But not scary. But good. Pretty enjoyable. Good message. If nothing else, I'm really glad that I played it. With all that being said, I just wanted to say uh, thank you all very much for watching. Um, please remember to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. If there are any games that you would like to see me play in the future, please do feel free to reach out and let me know. Thank you all again for watching, and I will see you next time.